I want to show you a little modification that I've done to this Tundra and it involves fitting vortex generators. So what exactly are vortex generators? Well basically they're a piece of metal burnt at right angles when used on full size aircraft but on this model I've used balsa wood. So what do vortex generators do? Well the most efficient portion of the wing is about a fifth of the cord of the wing which is the right point where you get the most lift. But the area which deteriorates is towards the trailing edge of the wing. And to make a true stall machine you need a good suction on the upper surface overall on the actual cord itself. I wanted, I've had a little bit of adverse yaw problems with this model and I wanted to try an experiment. I wanted to see whether I could pull the port side wing round by fitting vortex generators. And they work, they really do. I've actually reduced the depth of them now to what they were. They were a little bit draggy before pulling the model too much to the left but now I've sanded them down they work really well and they're going to be a feature of this model. So as the airflow goes through over the wing through the vortex generators it creates eddies and it splits up and as it goes towards the trailing edge and meets up with the lower surface this is where it does its work on the aileron. You can also improve the, uh, improve the bite of ailerons by actually putting a strip of uh, wood on the trailing edge to pull it round an old free flight technique. But that basically is what vortex generators are. And I say on this model, they're only on the port side. I may fit some on the right side, on the starboard side eventually, but there's no need at the moment because they do the job on the port side. So don't be afraid to experiment. I mean, I've been trying all afternoon different ideas and I've come up with these and these really do work very, very well indeed. So I shall just put a coat of clear dope on them, paint them over and look can be a feature of the model. So I thought you'd like to know about my little experiment that works. So, as I say, don't be afraid to uh, experiment on your models, make them better. And if you've got a problem you can't solve, see if you can use full-size practices. Thank you very much.